Hi everyone, I'm Frances Hiss Jones. Welcome to my channel. I'm with a special guest today. Jim Kimani. Okay. From Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm from Liberia. Today we'll be speaking on self-love. And since we are in February, it is all about love, appreciation. We'll be talking about self-love. Most people think Valentine's Day is about married couples or just lovers. No, Valentine's Day is about love. It can be love to yourself, love to your parents, to your kids, your partner, whatever. You just have to take that time to appreciate what you have. And we're going to uh, um, talk about how we realize how important self-love is and when we started loving ourselves. Most of us think we love ourselves or we know what self-love is, but our definition of self-love is different. Yeah. <laughs> it's very strange. And most of us don't even know what self-love is. We don't take our, our time because we're busy doing the unnecessary things or things that we think is more important than ourselves. We don't take the time to really get to know who we are. Um, we don't pamper ourselves. We don't put ourselves first. And we want to talk about how yeah. we were forced to learn self-love. Like we were literally forced <laughs> to love ourselves. So what do you think self-love is in your definition? Um, so for me, um, I had to learn it the hard way. I mm -hmm. wish I knew, you know, how to love myself before being in a certain situation. So for me, self-love, the most important thing is to put myself first. Exactly. In everything, I know we have husbands, we have boyfriends and all over, but you know, the first thing, the most important thing is, you know, you, you come first. And most of the time we are too busy taking care of other people in our lives. We end up forgetting about ourselves. Our times... Um, our bodies are crying for our attention for you know this just time so many things you can do with yourself you know so for me you know I'm glad I realized though maybe it didn't you know it came maybe in a negative way at that time but I thank God because now I know how to take care of myself I know that I come first I know that I am important the most important thing is you know you have to know you're important and I'm glad I got to know that because now I it's always you know I come first you know learning to appreciate myself and um yeah that's the most important thing yeah, right. knowing yourself and appreciating yourself you know because most most of the time we get so busy with job with so many things we tend to forget you know this you know this us we need to take care of ourselves there's so many things we can do especially for us girls i feel like we have so many things we can do we can go to our nails we can go to the salon we can go for massage like do something good for yourself don't always wait for someone to do something for you no you can do something for yourself you know like me, I hate doing nails. <laughs> I love doing nails. That's why I had to start with that. <laughs> I, I hate doing nails, but I love food. I love food. I will literally order any kind of food, look at it on the table, and just get it. Oh my God. Yeah. I will start eating this and start thinking about what to eat next, mm -hmm. and I just get happy. Like, as you can see, yeah, I don't do nails. And my hair, like, I hate doing hair. That's why I even did the dress. Because the dress, you just go sit down, someone retwist it, and fun. it stayed there for a month. Yeah, so, <laughs> so any way you feel like you can pamper yourself, go ahead. Like, she loves doing nails, you give yourself spa oh. day and all that stuff. And as she said earlier, she had to learn some love the hard way. Oh, yeah. But it turned into <laughs> being good. good. Yeah. So as for me, I learned the experience the hard way too. <laughs> and most of us do because our parents don't teach us self-love. Mm -hmm. They don't um I you know speak positive things into our life, especially Africans. Mm -hmm. we, we we don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. We literally gotta learn it ourselves, and some of us don't even get a chance to learn it. Mm -hmm. We just keep repeating the horrible cycle. My story is how I was forced to learn self-love. Um, you know, our first love, everybody fall in love yeah. and they we give go, it all. of course, they go crazy. They think the person is their word. Like I, my first love, my God, I would give my kidney, both of them <laughs> and be 
breathing for air like a fish out of water. I would literally do that at that time. And he wasn't, he's not a horrible person, but I gave so much, so much that there was nothing left of me. And at the end, I don't even want to go in details, but at the end, I got stabbed really, really bad. To the point that I'm like, life had to teach me a lesson by force. And I'm like, the energy I'm taking to put in this person, if I can just take a little bit of that energy and put in myself to love myself. Do you know how far I will go? Do you know what I can accomplish with the love I'm giving that person who's not returning it? And most of us do that. We keep loving people, keep loving people. And they don't return it, but we still hope we have yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, we think that picture of the person that eventually, eventually. Yeah, we'll give them time. You yeah. Know, let me just you know wait a little bit and all that. Oh, that you know, it's it's just them. They don't realize it yet, but we we'll soon realize that they love me. Yeah. No, there's no time. That's one thing we think we have, but yeah. we don't. Once you realize that the person is not returning that to you, move on. Somebody else will. And once you love yourself, actually, when you love yourself and the person see how much you love yourself, they will come with that same love. Know, and respect you and love. Exactly. But if you don't even know what love is, you don't even know how to love yourself, how do you expect someone else to love you? You I don't know, even understand no yourself. So, how do you, how did you, you know, a little bit, you don't have to go into yeah, it. I know, yeah. But how did you realize, like, how were you forced mm -hmm. to love yourself? So for me also was, you know, heartbreaking apparently, but someone had to break up with me for me to wake up and realize, you know, after giving so much, you know, so much energy, so much time, like giving out everything, there's nothing I couldn't do for, you know, the person that I really, really love. And it's draining. And yeah, and it, it's honestly it's draining because at times they ask you to do things that honestly I really don't want to do, but yeah. of course I love them so much. I end up doing it so at some point i'm not even happy because i'm doing something that you know just to make him happy and for me i was not happy at that time but you know i just had to do anything and that's that the worst part is that like she said you don't get the love back so it's so draining because everything you have you give it to all but then you know they don't care at the end of the day so you don't get the love back so before after they oh you know my boyfriend at that time broke up with me it was it was frustrating because he to me he was my everything he was i would do anything for him and i didn't even care about him when i felt he was unhappy or if you know i was hurt i didn't care as long as i have him in my life that's does, that all. Sound, does that sound familiar <laughs> yeah that's all i wanted i didn't care about anything else you know his love or if he loved me back i was just i was precious with him i'm like you know what he's going to not love me you know i kept comforting myself like that but the moment he left me, I felt like my whole world is, you know, is done. And it was so frustrating. And so after healing, I'm like, you know, why am I even crying? After exactly. I am special. I am pretty, you know, saying positive things to myself. That's how I had to learn. You self love. Have, oh, yes. Self love is so important. And I thank God that he did that because I wouldn't have learned, you know, I wouldn't have realized how important it is to love yourself and. You know to appreciate yourself so you know every single time you get a chance you go to the mirror admire yourself tell yourself you're so important you're pretty always look at the positive of yourself positive side of yourself every single time always say something good about yourself at every single time i know we face so many challenges yeah. negative ways but always look at the good side always make sure you always come first self-help is the most important thing once you realize that, you will be the happiest person. Trust me. Nobody will degrade you. Nobody will disrespect you because you know you're worth, you know? So you better love yourself. Exactly. <laughs> like my my own, I I I realized that the love was so bad when as I said, I love food. <laughs> when I when me and him was in a relationship, he said he was hungry. And that's the only meal I had. And I literally gave my meal to him without even letting him know that's my only meal. Looked at him, eating it, and I'm hungry as hell. 
But again, as long as he's good, I will do anything just for him to be in my life. Just for oh him to God. say sweet things to me. Yours was much better. For me, I remember that time I was in campus and I used to have, you know, um, I didn't have enough pocket money. But I used to use all my money. I would miss, <laughs> it's so funny <laughs> because, oh my God, I would miss like all the meals. You miss only one meal. Uh -huh. I miss my lunch, breakfast to save money for him. Oh, hell. oh yes, <laughs> I promise you. Oh my God, I was gonna skip like lunch for the whole week, lunch and breakfast, so I can save money that my parents send me for food and stuff, so I can give it to him. Oh, I can buy him stuff. You know, I can buy him present on his birthday. I can do stuff and. Apparently, he didn't even get me anything on my birthday or anything. He never got me any present. I was in school at that time. He was working. He never got me anything. And I used to get stuff for him. And, oh my God, oh my God it was... Just think you can buy the love. Exactly. Yeah, in fact, him. that's what I was trying to do. To show him that, you know, I can do anything for you. And the worst part, you know, he didn't even do that nope. back to you. Like, they don't you know? return the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> and you see now, that's when self love comes. I didn't care about myself. I was missing out on so many things. I wouldn't, you know, my friends would go do stuff with their money and all that. But I was, I was saving mine so I can keep buying presents for him. You can imagine. It's crazy. Yeah. I feel two years in college. Because my first love was in Liberia. When I came to the United States and I went to college, I was doing um zoom with him and i never went to class i will be on zoom because we have five hours difference mm -hmm. and i will be on zoom with him when it's in the night um when it's in the night there it's in the day here and in the day that's when i go to school but because he's up i have to be on zoom with him and two years i feel feel flat because i'm thinking if i'm not on zoom with him he might look for somebody else. I gotta keep him yeah. active and all that stuff. Again, neglecting me. Not even thinking about me. Everything is him, 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 him. And it turned out that I don't care how you keep them busy. I don't care what you give to them. They will still do what they want to do. Oh, yeah. They because will. it ended up being like the same thing I was trying to prevent. Mm -hmm. That's why I was on Zoom with him and didn't go to none of my classes that I was taking student loans for. It happened, which me and at that moment it hurt so badly be saying why god why god god saying because i made you do you think i was stupid when i made you this wonderful you gotta love yourself so i'm putting you through this very heartbreaking moment for you to find yourself because when you're crying you literally pay attention when that hurts you realize like was this person worth it and your eyes open in that way yes. that I can't even explain it. You yes. know, you go sit down and you're like, oh my god, you mean I was this mean? To I was me? a fool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you feel so bad to yourself, like you failed yourself. You know, you feel, oh my god. Like, it's, it's yeah. Sad. It is. But the good thing is, your first love turned into your husband. You so, so for me, no, no. <laughs> So mine was a good thing, you know, we started in a rough part, we were both very young and I know love was so bad. I we broke up for like a an year and And when you started loving yourself, he came oh, different. Yes, he came back with a kind of love and respect that he was he was not, you see. So I really thank God because for the breakup and all that because way before we were still both young and you know I was there showing him how much I like him and care about him. And then we broke up for a year. When he came back, oh my God, I was different. You're all into yourself oh, now. Yeah, I was into myself. Yeah. I didn't even, you know, he noticed the different, of, you know, the kind, I was a different person. I kept myself fast. I respected myself. Even if he didn't, I respected myself fast. So, I didn't even, so he definitely had to respect me because I knew my worth. I knew, I, like, yeah, whoa. so, oh my God. So he had he to came, match Oh, it. yeah, he, he did, and, it. you know, God is good. He's my husband now, so. You see? It came out as a good thing. So, it, the most important thing is to know your worth and self-love, you know. You don't have to wait for someone to hurt you for you to realize. That's why we are no, here talking, it helping you. Yeah, oh, yeah, it, it really, really does. And that's why we are here to help, you know, to help guys out, you know. You need to learn to, to love yourself, put yourself first, appreciate yourself. I know it don't happen in one day, but every single day, say something positive about you. 
you know get to know like something good about you and keep saying it over and over again even if you're gonna get a journal and say oh you know i am pretty i have a nice smile i have nice eyes something positive each and every day eventually you're gonna fall through you're gonna respect yourself you're gonna love yourself and once you do that i promise you everybody around you will love you will respect you it's oh my god it's thing. a good feeling trust me it's a really good oh, yeah. feeling exactly what she said you got to find the positive even if it's hard mm -hmm. for you to see something positive in you there is if you think you're not beautiful trust me someone else see it oh, you are everything to them they crush on you every single day exactly. they wish i could have that girl or that man and you don't even know that mm -hmm. and sometimes the people even tell you how beautiful you are you doubt it you think they're trying to laugh at you because you don't see it in you mm -hmm. it doesn't even have to be a physical appearance you can some people have like talent, that, I'm talent. talent. You're good at something. You're good at dancing. You're good at you know modeling or something. Find something. You have something, and you need to find it. Trust me, you have. Don't wait for someone to tell you you're pretty. No, you are pretty the way you are. Everybody will yeah, tell you and feel tell yourself. Yeah, yeah. So don't wait for someone to tell you, oh, you're this and this. No, you already know yourself. You already know your worth. By the time they come and get you the way they are, they will continue respecting you because they see, oh, this guy, oh, this man is already, they respect themselves. So they will give you that respect. Trust me. And it's yeah. the best feeling ever because nobody's going to take advantage of you. No, no. I used no to way. focus on me being short. Mm -hmm. I'm short. I have like thick hands. I used to focus on all the negative stuff. And then when I started realizing how many positive things are having me, I got so conceited about myself and it's nothing wrong with you being conceited for yourself girl mm -hmm. you can praise yourself keep saying wonderful things about yourself oh, yeah. your self-confidence your self-esteem will will rise up mm -hmm. and it, it is perfectly fine for you to love yourself more than anything okay and with Valentine's Day coming up find something Find something to summarize all this. Find something to treat yourself, to remind yourself how wonderful you are. That's the only thing you have. And you, I always say that's the only thing you can, you you can brag about you. Yeah. Nobody can be you. Only you can and be you. And you always be there for yourself. As people a, come and leave. Nothing in any way. People get married, they divorce. People get both. But you, I'm always gonna be here. I got my back. So, you know, you should do the same thing. You have to go to you, you know? Yep. So. I'm going to get food with my husband. <laughs> oh, yeah. And enjoy. She's going to pamper herself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do my nails. <laughs> exactly. So far, what makes you happy? And keep saying nice things, positive things, because you are very beautiful. And there will be nobody else like you. Oh, yeah. Okay? No, so, no, enjoy no. your Valentine's Day. <laughs> Happy Valentine's. And once again, I'm Francis Hiss Jones. I'm Jen Kimani. Thanks for watching and please subscribe, share, like. Bye. Have a great day or night. <laughs>